welcome back to another day and today is 14th of November doing the holy blessing recording and today we're going to talk about silence now this is not the silence in which I stop talking and the silence is felt it's a silence which is within it's a silence in which we don't have any doubts we don't have any questions we don't have any form of negative feelings towards anybody we are not over conscious we are not fearful we are not full of worries and that's the complete silence where we are completely neutralized in our mind towards the situations towards the people and from that point of view and from that state of mind then we go into solutions then we go into finding methods of achieving something in life so god says in today's blessing that we can attain a lot of things through silence even science is dependent upon silence let's explore that God says, may you be a yogi soul and and make the impossible possible with the power of silence. Now, yogi doesn't mean somebody whom we generally visualize as somebody wearing saffron clothes or sitting down with his fingers connected like this and into some mudra. Yogi is somebody who is in constant touch with themselves, who know and who understand what is going on in their mind and how to choose the right soul is a yogi soul. Along with that, a yogi soul is somebody who is connected to the supreme highest infinite energy. Whom we call him as God, whom we call him as Paramatma Pita or Allah or Jehu. So that supreme light, the supreme infinite energy is somebody who is giving us the power of purity so that we have that power. And then it doesn't take us time to choose the right thought. So instead of choosing greed, we choose anything. So choosing hate, we're choosing love, compassion, and mercy. So that can happen when we connect to the supreme light, the supreme force, the supreme energy. So that's why anybody or everybody who's in connection with the supreme creator is a yogi soul. So God then says, the power of silence is the most elevated power. So now you understand what is silence exactly. I'm talking to you. But you can think things about me also and you can be thinking things about yourself or you can be thinking things about your house you can be thinking things about what to cook what to wear what to do right now and all of that can actually steal the silence away in your mind too many thoughts in your mind is not silence in simple definition so the power of silence is the most elevated power all the other powers have emerged from this one power even the power of science has emerged from this power of silence. You see, when scientists they go underground, no disturbance, don't disturb me, I'm working on this. They don't think about eating, they don't think about their family or anybody else, and they are completely devoted. They are in complete silence with themselves, and they're clearing the thoughts, the layer of thoughts, they're clearing away the useless formulas which they've been thinking about. They're like, no, cancel out, this is not the right formula, this is not the right formula. Similarly, for peace of mind, there's a formula of what we need to think and what we don't need to think. So we can also go underground. That means it doesn't really mean that you go underground or you start living in your basement. It simply means that you are in your mind underground. You are not getting influenced by worldly things, not getting influenced by worldly distractions, not getting influenced by worldly situations. So in one second, you can go within your mind in silence and clear away all the waste thoughts, clear away all the impure thoughts, clear away all the useless thoughts, clear away all the sinful thoughts and come to the pure self. From there you find a solution. Because we need ego, jealousy or people and that doesn't have a long frequency as we need to love, mercy, peace, happiness, joy. They have got a very long frequency and they have faster. God then says, even the power of science has emerged from this power of silence. With the power of silence, you can make the impossible possible. That whatsoever somebody is saying, it can't be done. It's not possible. It's going to take time. With the power of silence, with the pure, powerful thoughts, we can actually attract things in life. What the world says is impossible is easily possible for you yogi souls. They say that God is very elevated and brighter than a thousand suns. 
but from your experience you say we have attained him and have become merged in the ocean of love with our power of silence and this is a fact many people say have you seen god do you know god and we are here to say yes we have been able to see god but for seeing something if you have your goggles on and they are full of scratches you won't be able to see things clearly in front of you similarly if a mind is full of scratches of curses from people whether of this life or of previous life you have attained curses of negative karma impure thinking jealousy and hatred imagine the condition of your inner eyes goggles the complete full of dirt the complete full of scratches hurts give to others receive from others and imagine in that kind of state of your goggles you try to watch a beautiful scene god is the beauty now for that we have to actually move towards the first step you have to clean the inner goggle only then can we see the true beauty of the supreme creator or, or even the light in the universe or some people in science say god part it's not a part of it not a atom it is a part of it so there's a difference between atom and atom you see the supreme creator the supreme source the supreme light can only be seen in the true beauty of your mind and doing that for reaching that state we welcome you to come to my eyes do you join you don't have to change your religion take the spiritual knowledge and become the powerful religious figure in your own life along with that if you want to move further you will attend the seminar course of the world also on Sundays we have sessions conducted by the Dajin Center from a few days from 5 p.m. 6:15 p.m. every Sunday do join us and for more details you can contact me on this whatsapp number this is om shanti